Hey, I'm Rhonda Duffy. Thanks for considering us. We appreciate your consideration and hope to do business with you. All right, now a lot of people ask us, what do we charge the .0034 closing for? Well, I can tell you, the .0034 is probably my favorite part of the transaction, and that is contract negotiation. All right, so here we are in the contract room. I just want to introduce you briefly so that when you sign up as our client, you know what I'm talking about. This is the contract negotiation room. These are the current contracts that we're working on. And uh, tomorrow we'll get a whole new batch of them in because it are, is our goal to either call something dead or call it binding within 48 hours. So this is what we do all day long in this department. We negotiate sellers' contracts. These are only our sellers. These are not our buyer clients. That's a different department. And um, as you can see, we have a fax machine right here, very close to where we are here. And, uh, of course, the computer and phone. So we're very close and in and, and full working, hands-on type relationship. We usually have two or three uh, women in here, including myself. And, uh, you know, this is really what we do, if you will, for contracts. But we've come across some very unique ideas, some things that our clients love. And this is how we know that we stand apart from any other real estate company. Whatever you want to label them or whatever you want to call them, we know that we stand apart because we hear from our clients the unique experiences that we put them through. The first thing that I want to show you is we have a very smooth process in how we uh, make recommendations and negotiate offers. So when somebody uh, sends over an offer, a buyer's agent or an unrepresented buyer, we have a checklist that we take the contract through. So we're looking for a legal binding contract. So we have a checklist that we send over to the buyer's agent asking them to supply these things or telling them, hey, we're not going to call this binding and legal, legally binding until we have these things. Second thing we do is we have a lot of recommendations that we give our clients. So when we get an offer in, the first thing that we do is we start our recommendation process. And that's a very smooth process. And if you really think about it, there's probably 30 offers here on these plates uh, that we're working on. It's, it would be impossible to work on 30 contracts at a time if you didn't have a very systematic, problem-solving approach to doing a contract. So we make it as easy as possible. We don't want anybody to be confused. I do have a video on our customer support website that walks you through doing this stuff. And I just, I'm just very proud of this process. It's very smooth, and our clients really, if you look at our testimonials further, you'll find that this is a process that they really come to enjoy because it's empowering, and it teaches them a lot about real estate without overcomplicating it and over-dramatizing what the process is. All right, so we have the recommendations, and then we just go back and forth um, to the process until we get a binding agreement. And then when we get the binding agreement together, it goes to another process where we bind it and do all the pieces to get it ready for closing. Okay? And then we send out the too late sign. Okay? That's another process that we have inside this process. And we use too late instead of under contract. Now let me tell you outside of what I've just told you, which I think is very powerful, one of the things that our clients have reported has been a real treat for them. And that is that anytime we have a buyer's agent on the phone, on behalf of our client, talking about our client and their property, we also have our client on the phone. So we do open conference calling anytime we're talking on the behalf of our client. This has alleviated a lot of worry from our clients. You know, like, do the agents get along? Or how's the agent representing me? Or what are they saying about me? Or what did they say about their client? Or when are they going to answer? Or what did they mean by that, right? And it just takes a lot of the um, frustration, I guess, out of the process, it's been very eye-opening for the, for the client, too, to be able to hear and see how agents talk to each other. So that's one process. The second process is a very unique process. It is uh, probably what we're known for at this point in our negotiating skills, and that's reverse offers. That means that when somebody comes to your home for a second time, a buyer with or without an agent, we're going to approach them and ask them how they feel about the property. Now, we're looking for one of two answers. We're looking for we're on the short list with an objection. They have an objection that they need to overcome before they can come to the property with an offer, or they're writing an offer. If they have an objection, not that they're writing an offer. If they're going to write an offer, we you know keep on the same track that we would to get all these in. Um, we have a different stack for reverse offers is basically what I'm telling you, because the reverse offer is us making an offer to them, which is very unique. 
what we'll do is we'll overcome the objection inside the offer that we write to them so that they are able to know that we're willing to play and that we have noticed and recognized their objection and that we're willing to fix it. And that really brings a lot of ease to the buyer because oftentimes the buyer's agent can't speak on the behalf of the seller. They can't say, oh, I'm sure they would address that or I'm sure they would fix it. Now we're able to be in the driver's seat and say, here's the ball, here's their ball. So we're getting a lot better at that. We weren't that great at it in the beginning. We've become really good at it now. And really about 70% of what we make as a reverse offer does close. But what we want you to know is you're not listing with somebody who's not proactively seeking a buyer and a buyer's contract. We are proactively seeking a buyer and a buyer's contract. So we hope to see you on the selling list soon. And thank you for considering us. Again, I'm Rhonda Duffy. Thanks. Bye-bye.